when we say human or being human or something that is even humane, you think of something positive. But it also has, it's, it, we, we have a constant struggle with our own negative aspects that come with being human. Using this communication between the people and also between the art forms really allows you to try to find the positive, to shine a light on the issues and dive into the cracks, but also come out the other side maybe better for it, having been able to look at it from these different sides. When you do something on stage or in a theatre, it's, um, it's a little bit like a laboratory for society, in a way when we as artists from really very different angles manage to get along with each other, then that sets a good sample how we can deal with each other in society. So for me, the art of being human is about sociability and communication. And what better way to show communication than show communication between artists from different disciplines? The three aspects, the visual, the movement, the music, they really feel like they meld in every moment in a different way. And in some moments, its music is driving it. In some moments, the visual is driving it. And in some moments, the choreography is driving it. We're so lucky with this group of musicians uh, because it's, it's a lot to ask. It's extremely exciting, extremely challenging. We set ourselves very high musical standards and we have to somehow ensure that we, we keep to a certain artistic position. Mm -hmm. At the same time, what's so fascinating is memorizing things that we would never do in chamber music situations. It is an overcoming of fear together and with mm -hmm. all the implications that are needed for that. We really need to grab each other by the hand and say, believe me, trust me, let's try that, even when the other person is scared. That's part of the process. I understand some of the music that I've been playing for 25 years far better now when I have this kind of interaction. It changes the, the notion of our humanity in a certain sense, which is the, the goal of the piece. That sense of, of beauty and ugliness in reality, in pain, in suffering, is part of what our project is about. And I think, therefore, the audiences are going to get some insights into this music. It's not just some wallpaper that, you know, makes life feel better, but it's something which gives you some insight into the nature of reality that artists pick up on and try to represent. And it's not binary. So no. there are some moments where the music feels like it's, you know, do, doing gut-wrenching to you. But it doesn't, that doesn't necessarily have to be represented in what a dancer is doing. I try to really keep an eye on too is to not feel like we're doubling up representing every moment and every aspect. So it's layered. And in this space, it's layered from every direction. I try to invent something more from my point as a sculptor that can be used in different ways during the evening making a connection between the dancers and the musicians. And one thing which is quite important for sculpture, and that is an advantage in that room, the sculpture should be always seen from all sides. I think it's fair to say we're exploiting the potentials Absolutely. of the Boulez Zal in particular. Can, yeah, yeah with the placement of musicians and obviously with the sculptures yeah. and dancers. So that's what we kind of come back to is how far can we push it before it falls over the edge. That is a big adventure and a good adventure. Mm -hmm.